Refreshing Stories My name is Hiroshi. I work as a sales representative at a company with over 300 employees. My work is fun in its way, but I've been feeling a bit lonely coming home to a house with no one to greet me home. Feeling that way these days? There is someone I'm interested in. Good morning! I brought the documents due tomorrow. Good morning, Mr. Ohira. Thank you very much. I've indeed received your documents. This woman with a beautiful smile is Mai. We were classmates in high school, but we went to different universities, so we were apart for those years. But we ended up working together at the same company. This is the woman I've been having a crush on. Actually, I've always liked her since high school. Um, Miss Mai? Would you like to go out for lunch together? Excuse me, I brought some sweets for everyone at the Human Resources Department. Wow! Section Chief! Thank you very much! You are very handsome and very thoughtful! I'm so jealous of your wife for marrying a person like you! <laughs> You're praising me too much! I just want to give back to everyone for always working so hard! This is my boss, the Section Chief. He has a sweet mask and a gentle demeanor, giving him the title most likable person within the company. Everyone at the office shouts out cheers whenever he passes by. They're huge fans of his. I go home early to take care of my child, so I'm showing how thankful I am for your cooperation. I need to show my gratitude every time, or else karma might get me. <laughs> you don't have to do that. The sweets you give us every time are all so delicious and so in right now. You have a very good taste in gifts. Mr. O'Hira. You need to be more thoughtful like the section chief, or else you won't become popular. Uh huh. Well, well, Mr. Ohira, you're a wonderful man too, you know. Even from the eyes of a wonderful man like me. Okay, now, I'll go back to my desk. Uh, I'll go back to my desk too. Uh, well, let's continue working. Hey, Mr. Ohira. I have a favor to ask you. Yes? What is it? Ah, uh, are you going home early again today? If that's the case, I'll do the work for you. No, no, today is fine. You don't have to do that for me today. What I want you to do instead is to set up a matchmaking party. Uh, come to think of it, I don't understand what you're saying. Mr. Boss, you're married, aren't you? Yeah, I'm married. But you know, I get tired of eating the same thing every day. My wife is always tending to our child, and doesn't tend to me at all, so I'm just taking a breather. What? Mr. Boss, could it be that the reason for going home early is that... Of course, because the baby cries all the time, so I can't relax at all. Uh, but I won't help with something like a love affair. Hmm, so you're declining my request? If that's what you want to do, then fine. But brace yourself for the next personnel evaluation. What? Are you threatening me? It's up to you whether you'll take it as an insult or a compliment. However, when it comes to the most popular man in the office versus the least popular one, I wonder who everyone will believe. <laughs> hmm, it seems like you're smart enough to know where you stand. By the way, I only accept beautiful women, so I look forward to it. All right, I'll be expecting from you. I was shocked. I can't believe that the boss that I thought I knew to be trustworthy and dependable turned out to be a cheating bastard, wearing the mask of a good father who takes care of his child. Threatened of getting my personnel evaluation lowered, I couldn't say no to him, so I ended up setting up a matchmaking party for him. However, I don't have connections to hold a matchmaking party, so I decided to call a high school friend of mine. With that said, I'm looking for women who can join the party. <laughs> I see. Okay, I'll assemble beautiful women for you. Really? You're a huge help. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hiroshi, you really haven't changed at all, have you? You can't say no whenever someone asks you to do something. Well, you're right. I have difficulty saying no. But in this case, I'll be done for if I refuse to set up a matchmaking party. You understand my situation, right? Please, I'm counting on you. All right, okay. I'll gather up some pretty women, so look forward to it. All right, I should probably contact May first. Hello, May. What's up? How are you? Arisa! I'm doing great! It's great to hear from you! What's up? Actually, I was looking for someone who can join a matchmaking party. A matchmaking party? Don't worry, I will help you out if ever something happens. 
it's been a long time since we last saw each other. So how about taking it as a little reunion? By the way, the one organizing the party is Hiroshi, the love of your life. Huh? Why is he organizing such a party? He told me that he was asked by someone of power to organize it. So he couldn't say no and ended up having to do it. He really hasn't changed at all. <laughs> was that the reason why you're in love with him? Hey, stop that! Well, but I guess I might go. Whoa! Hiroshi's effect is immense! He's not the reason! <laughs> I won't go if you keep on making fun of me. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. All right then, I'll see you at the party. A few days later. Oh, section chief! Are you going home early today too? It's my daughter's birthday today, so I need to buy a birthday present on the way home. Okay then, I'll go home now. Okay, have a safe trip home. Everyone is being fooled. Well, I guess I was one of them until days ago. What? Why is my here? Hooray! I didn't expect much, but this is a jackpot! My target today is that pretty woman at the center. Huh? Why is Ohira with the section chief? <laughs> Hiroshi is surprised! Both Hiroshi and Mei are shy. So I will assist them and make an appropriate atmosphere for them. Just like that, the matchmaking party started off with a whirlwind of speculations. I wonder what will happen. All right, let's start by introducing ourselves. Oh, uh, um, I'm sorry. I need to go to the restroom. Please excuse me for a while. Me too. I need to, uh, uh please excuse me. My, uh... Hiroshi, why is the section chief here? Could it be that you invited him? Wait a second, it's a misunderstanding. Actually, about this matchmaking party, I was asked by the section chief to organize it. At first I refused to do it, but he threatened me, saying that he will lower my personnel evaluation if I don't. I was told that you were asked by a man of power. Oh, so he's the man of power that Arisa was talking about. Yes. I'm sorry for doubting you. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. More importantly... Mai, you look different today. It's been a long time since I last saw you without your glasses. That's why I was a little surprised. Yes, I heard that you were coming, so I got a little too much. What? <laughs> Taking my glasses off and meeting you reminds me of that time. My heart skipped a beat when she said that with a pretty smile. That time that she was talking about was when we were in high school. At that time, she unbelievably had bad luck with men, so she used to hide at the back of the school and cried. She said that she didn't want men who were only after her looks. I happened to pass by her crying and thought of ways to solve her problem. After some thought, I came up with a solution. I suggested that she hide her face. She thought that was a good idea and tried it. Since then, she kept hiding her face under her glasses. I'm very thankful you found me at that time and gave me that wonderful surprise. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been able to live a peaceful life like I do now. Oh no, I... I really didn't do anything. You were really humble, just like when we were in high school. We should probably go back inside now. Thankfully, the section chief hasn't recognized me, so I can pretend like I don't know him. I don't get into any trouble. All right, got it. I'll keep watch to prevent the section chief from doing something crazy. I'm sorry for excusing myself all of a sudden. It's fine, don't worry about it. All right then, let's start introducing ourselves. At first, the matchmaking party started great with a friendly atmosphere. But as more alcohol was drunk, my boss started to get too close to Mai. Hey, hey, Mai, you're very pretty. You're my type. Uh, thank you. Do you have a boyfriend or someone you're seeing? I wouldn't be here if I had a boyfriend, you know. Really? So you're the serious type? So are you the type who doesn't do one night stands then? What are you saying? I might look like this, but I'm welcome at one night stands -y, you know? They say it's not a crime if you don't get caught, right? Hey, hey, after this party, how about a sub? Section Chief, the lemon vodka cocktail you ordered has arrived. <laughs> you should be perceptive of the situation here. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. <laughs> here you go, Mai. The mocktail you ordered. Th thank you, Hiroshi. My, this alcoholic drink is smooth and very tasty. Uh, come on, come on. Drink it, drink it. What? Um, I can't really drink alcoholic beverages, so I only have mocktails. 
But this is not that strong, so have a taste. At least just one sip. Uh, <laughs> one? It's not that strong and tasty. Then I'll have it, please. Thank you. What? Sure. Here you go. It's not you. <laughs> this bastard, he's been annoying May from the start. Can't he tell that May doesn't want him to do those things? And so, I rescued Mai from getting in trouble. And Arisa, who's strong when it comes to alcoholic drinks, helped Mai out with the drinks. However, my boss's vigor was unabated. Hey, hey, Mai, I probably shouldn't be saying this myself, but I'm quite a catch. Don't you think so, too? I'm confident that I can definitely satisfy you. <laughs> um, please stop doing that and saying those words to me. I just came to see my friend today. I can see that you put on makeup and sexy clothes. Don't tell me that you did all this just to beat a friend. Hey, I know that women wear clothes like that and put on makeup for the right. You want a man like me to take you home, right? Come on, it's okay. Let's have fun together. <sighs> I can't keep on watching this anymore. I need to do something or else the man in me won't forgive me. Section Chief, didn't you mention earlier that today is your daughter's birthday? What? Why are you revealing my secret, you f you freak? Don't you care about your personnel evaluation? If it means that I get to save the woman whom you're harassing, I don't care about my personnel evaluation. Please, stop pestering her any more than this. M Mr. O'Hara! What? Daughter? So does that mean he's married? Oh my god! Gosh, how disgusting! I'm turned off! <laughs> Why? It's not like you didn't want me doing what I did, right? You were just feeling a bit, bit shy, right? Of course! I hated what you were doing! Are you blind or something? I mean, I know you are a married man. I thought it would be a hassle if I told you that I knew you, so I just pretended I didn't know you. What? But the only people who know that I'm married are the people at work. Uh, could it be that we work at the same company? Who are you? Tell me what department you belong to. Are you trying to threaten her like you did to me? Oh, uh, yeah. I really can't forgive you. You have a wife whom you promised to love for the rest of your life, but you go to matchmaking parties like this and flirt with other women? You're a disgrace as a man. Why are you sounding so pompous when you don't even have someone you can call a partner? I don't care what you say about me. I won't regret it even if you fire me. Mai, let's go home now. Yeah, yes. I'm going home now too. Hey, Mei and Hiroshi, let's go for a second round together. Hey, wait a minute. Come on. You won't tell the office about what happened to you, right? And please don't do that. I beg you, please. What should I do? Let me tell you, I might look like this, but I'm actually very angry right now. Brace yourself for the next work day. But I beg you, please, I'll do anything. So please, just don't tell everyone at work. A few days later. Good morning. Good morning. Um, uh, I'm sorry about last week for going home early. As an apology, I bought these sweets from the luxury shop near the station. A section chief, we don't need that anymore. You should stop doing that. Huh? Everyone knows that's the reason you went home early. It wasn't for your family, but for the matchmaking party. I, uh, it's a misunderstanding. What misunderstanding are you talking about? I have the evidence right here with me. Have you forgotten about the photo we took at the end of the party? Oh, uh, oh no. Could it be? Was that you? I mean, no, it's a, it's all just a misunderstanding. After that, because the story about the matchmaking party spread at the office, the section chief's likability has dropped down. Since then, there were no shrill voices that can be heard at the office. With attempts to get everyone to like him again, he hands out sweets to everyone at the office. But the opposite has happened, and everyone disliked him even more. As for me, uh, my, thank you for inviting me today. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for rescuing me at the matchmaking party. All I did was do the right thing. And besides, I... I didn't want to see the person that I like being treated like that. What? Uh, my... The truth is... I... I've always had a crush on you for a long time now. Will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> yes! W really 
Oh my gosh, seriously? Are you really, really, really sure? Me too, I've always liked you too. I look forward to spending more time with you as your girlfriend. Yes! I'm the happiest man in the world! The warm spring finally came after the long, dark winter days to my love life. I will cherish and spend my time with my long-time unrequited love that I finally fulfilled! Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!